All right, Yahoo Fantasy Baseball 2010. Taking a look at the Tucson Toros League. We're going to watch the Metropolitans. We're going to review the Metropolitans taking on Bronx Bombers in Week 9 action. And it looks like Metropolitans with the big victory this week, 9-1. to one. Metropolitans is now exactly at 500 ball at 43-43-4, and four, while Bombers is now 35-51-4 and four overall. Mets picked up the biggest win of the year for that team, has won four of the last five weeks, so Metropolitans has really got a lot of momentum, starting to turn some things around in the middle of the standings right now, and is 2-0 and all-time against Bombers uh, after this one. They faced off once last year with Mets picking up the win that time as well. Bombers followed up a 9-1 win in Week 8 with a 1-9 loss in Week 9, so disappointing uh, bounce back after a dominating performance in Week 8 action. Mets set season highs in RBIs, average, and wins. Had the most wins, but second fewest Ks of, excuse me, of any week this year. So a disappointing performance in the strikeout category, but still wound up with the most wins in one week that that team has seen all year. Bronx Bombers had a season low in homers, RBIs, and strikeouts. Still won the strikeouts category despite having a season low in that column, but the offense was really not clicking for Bombers, and Bombers got killed for that. Uh, let's see. Battles were not really even close in any of the categories either. Metropolitan's pretty decisive victory. Had six players with a homer, ten players with at least a run. Five of those players had five or more runs. Ten players had at least an RBI. Four of those players had at least six or more. Lance Berkman had ten RBIs on his own and a 400 average to go with that. Six players averaged 300 or better. Six players also had a stolen base. Niger Morgan had three stolen bases on his own. Uh, while Alex Rodriguez had two homers, eight RBIs, and hit 355 for the week. Bronx Bombers used just nine players this week. Just three players hit homers. Just two hit over 300 for the week. Marlon Bird being one of those two. He hit 438 for the week. David Ortiz fell back to earth. He hit 105 for the week. Nick Marcakis hit 130 for the week. So those players did not contribute at all. Just one player had more than three RBIs this week. That was Derek Jeter who had three, I should say three or more RBIs. Derek Jeter had three RBIs, had five runs, and a 321 average. So Jeter played well, but the rest of the team just didn't really pick up the slack. Uh, Metropolitans had excellent pitching. Uh, has had excellent pitching all season. That continued this week. Three pitchers with a zero ERA. Five pitchers with a whip of one or less. Irvin Santana had two wins, eight strikeouts, and a 1.38 ERA. Billy Wagner had two saves and a zero ERA. And Phil Hughes was impressive again. He had a win with seven strikeouts and a 1.29 ERA. One big point uh, we want to mention is Metropolitan still has Steven Strasburg in the lineup. Strasburg is to make his season debut this Tuesday. So it's going to be really interesting to see if Metropolitan switches Strasburg in to get credit for that start as Strasburg is going to be taking on the Pittsburgh Pirates. Bronx Bombers was all over the board on the pitching side. Lone win came from closer Jonathan Broxton. He had a win, a save, and seven Ks to go with a zero ERA for the week, so he was fine. But Kevin Gregg, he had a save, but he had a 13.5 ERA and a 3.75 whip. That's not going to get the job done. Ben Sheets didn't pick up a victory, only had one strikeout and a six ERA. On Rick Porcello continues to try to find his stuff from uh, last season. Only had two strikeouts in his appearance this week with a 5.06 ERA to go with that. Looking forward into Week 10 action, uh, the Metropolitans is now ninth in the standings, just five games out of six. So Mets has a lot of momentum here, trying to build off that by taking on last place Woodalas. Uh, those two teams faced off twice last year with Mets picking up uh, one of the two wins and Woodalas picking up the other for a split. Bronx Bombers is now 13th in the standings, just two games out of 12th, though. Remember, top 12 make postseason play, so just two games out. That's sitting pretty. Unfortunately, they're going to be taking on the league's best uh, twice as nice. Bombers faced off with twice as nice twice last year and lost both contests. So Bombers has got a real big uphill battle to try to turn things around. While Mets is looking to uh, build on this momentum and continue winning, taking on the league's worst.